all right I'm back again <laughs> and this time now it's for an ATG stand it's, it's for this now I know that we can put it up like that but it's it's a pain to have to upend it when I need it I would rather just sit it there grab it yeah I'm lazy okay so on the prototype I haven't done anything except cut some chipboard out that's three by four and the base three and a half by four so he's going to sit there like that now what I need to do because I want it to sit between this here this is the ATG 714 one of the older ones so what I want is to try and well let's see how wide it is first so we want it at least one and a half inches wide we'll do it so what I'm going to do is find the center first which is there And so, what does I want? It? One and a half. So we want three quarters either side of that. Okay, so that's where we want to chop it down to. So, what does I say? One and a half. I don't have a one and a half inch punch, but I do have a one and three eighths. Now that's not going to be wide enough. So, um, what else have I got? Let's see what. Ooh. How wide's this? Well, that's one and three quarters, so I can work with that. And so all I need to. Oh no. You know what? I think I'm just going to cut it. But I do want to curve, I thought. Alright, well let's come down, say, an inch. Do you want to come down that far? Oh, just, it's a prototype, so let's just see. Let's try it. No, nope, not not wide enough. Okay. Obviously miscalculated that one. Let's go over an eighth of an inch. See how that one goes. New. No. Ah, is it because? No. I thought it might have been because of the. Um, yeah. All good. Because of the curve there, but it's not even going past that top section all right let's see all right that feels really good okay so now what we're going to do like we did to the hot glue gun stand we're just going to trace it and cut it out in this so snugly but if I want to pull it out 
it's going to lift everything up. So what I'm going to have to do is file it down a little bit more and cut it down so that it's a bit looser. Yep, that's good. Alright, let's... No, oh, that's got to go that way. I think. Yep, that's the way. And then... Cut that there. Alright. Now, it's going to sit on the ground. I don't want that. I want it to sit there. So you know what? I think I want it so that it's going to have... Yep. I want it so that it doesn't fall out. So that... Yep. Needs a back there. So if I'm going to have a back, I might as well have sides and that way it will all be stable. Okay. Guess we're making another box. So we're gonna glue these together. Now I would probably paint the edges of these before I glued them together if you were going to do that. Um, I think I'll just spray this one. Alright, so squish while it grabs. Make sure you get it even on the bottom. Okay, and clip it. drying. That's the base. It's three and a half. It's, it's four by three and a half. That one's your back which is four inches by three inches and your sides here are two inches by three inches. Now I could probably try and yeah, no. let's just put the hinges on and see what I mean by the 45 degree angle when I mitre those so that they don't overlap too much and create unwanted bulk Okay, so that's your back, so your side, yep, okay, well let's do, let's remove the tape backing from all three sides, because I know I want to put some wet glue on, and knowing me I'm going to stuff it up, so let's, I'm going to put some in here, um, yeah, just there first. So I'm going to sit that on there, line it up, and sit it down. Okay, so 
I want to try and hold that there. Or should I just... Uh, I need hinges on there. I knew I'd stuff something up. Alright, I'll come back. Alright, I'm just putting the two inch hinges on one of the two inch sides. Right, so now I want to put some wet glue on here and maybe I should put some wet glue on here and then try and join it. Okay, so let's get that out of the right first. We want that one to sit up there Ay, 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 like. That should work. Okay. Got to be an easy way of doing that, eh? Probably is. Let's just put this one on first. So I'm going to line it up there. So it needs to come up. Sit there. Alright, so now what I can do is I can put my wet glue in there. And my wet glue up there. And I should be able to join it now. So let's sit that there like that and bring it over. So then that's what we have now. So that can sit and dry while we take these and join these two together. Okay, I'm a bit impatient. Can't wait for this to dry. So, well, it's been a couple of minutes. Okay, so now we want to slot this nice and snugly in there. Now let's test it out. That's going to sit there, but it's touching. Um, that's okay, because your tape's usually just on the bottom there, so that's going to be alright, I think. Okay. Let's put some A-lanes on it. Um, you know what? I think I might sand these down just slightly so that I get a nice straight edge. Alright. Here we go. So, all three straight sides. Okay. Now it's going to sit up flush with those sides there. There and there and there and there. So what I've got to do is push and press uh, and try not to move it so that's straight and it's not gonna hurt that much but I need it to dry so she's done right I could have maybe had those shaved off a little bit more because they're sticking up but Hey, it's a hot glue gun stand.
and just sit it there like that. It's not going to fall. I'm just roughly putting that in there. And it's not going to fall anywhere. So I'm quite happy with that actually. Now, I don't even think we need this extra bit here. Why do I do that? Because I didn't think I was going to have the sides before. But I thought the sides helped that sit nice and steady. But then I also thought that extra bit may help balance it out so that it doesn't tip over. If it was just a box it may well do so maybe that does play a, a small role in keeping it upright. That's good. I'm happy with that. I'd rather it sit in that than in the carousel where what I have to do is hold it like that and sit it in my carousel. Then I've got to get it out like that and then okay so it's all about speed and ease isn't it okay done too easy